Astronauts and the Flamingos. There you go, little swamp frog. Good as new. Yeah. Thanks. Something must have scared him. It came from over there. Ah, oh, now it's coming from over there. What could it be? If you ask me, it sounds like a swamp monster. I knew it. Follow him. Where'd it go? Whatever it was, I think it's gone now. Wait a minute. Do you hear that? Is it a swamp monster? No. It sounds like... Zig zag zig Singing! Zig zag zig Hi, but what are they doing? Uh, barnacles to Shellington, come in Shellington. Any idea what these flamingos are up to? Zig zag zig, that's the way. Flamingos dance, kaloo kale. Head up, head down, left and right. It looks like they're dancing. These special dances are how flamingos bond. They dance to show they like one another. And sometimes they seem to dance just for fun. Oh, there's more than just flamingos out there. Look. This swamp monster. Uh, that's no swamp monster. It's a flamingo chick. And he doesn't have the hang of it just yet. Look out. Um, flamingos, we are the Octonauts. Are you all right? Uh, I'm just a little tangled up right now. <laughs> I'm Flo. How did you find our secret dancing pond? We found you by following this little matey through the swamp. Phil, what have I told you about wandering off? Jeez, Mom. I was just practicing my dancing. Look. Zigzag. All right, Phil. Why don't you come practice with your crash until dinner? Fine. Never wants to stay with this crash, that one. He's crash? That's what a group of flamingo chicks is called. A crash. They're safer if they all stick together. Oh, can you untwist my leg? Octonauts, it's time to untangle. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Oh, sorry, madam. Got 
flamingos like to dance. They zig and zag as they plant. Flamingo chicks are covered in white feathers. They form a crash and stick together. Flamingo's legs are long. Wading through the swamp, this helps them move along. The Octonauts and Operation Cooperation. <sighs> drive a gop as well as you do in just one easy lesson. Hi, matey. Tonight, I'm gonna teach you everything I know. And then I'll surprise everyone with my advanced gop driving skills. Uh, just one thing. Let's not wake up Tweak. No need to worry her about us taking out the gops for a little driving lesson. Right. Let's go. Oh. Shh. Sorry. After you. Anyway, uh, we had a bit of an accident, and we've 
lost some parts of our gaps. We won't be able to go home until we find them and put them back on. None of my business, of course, but how many parts are we talking about here? Oh, good question. Let's make a list. Two orange rivets, two yellow rivets, one headlamp cover, one green console button, five carrots and one spring coil. Oh, that's a lot of little parts. And this reef has a lot of nooks and crannies and a lot of ways to get lost and never be found, if you know what I mean. I see what you mean, matey, but we'll just have to search every cranny and nook. Listen, I don't want to be pushy, but here's a little advice. If you want to succeed out here on the reef, you need to work with the right fish at the right time. You've got to cooperate. The only fish we know on the reef is you, matey. Then you're in luck. Come on, I'll introduce you to some pals of mine. So, Trooper, what do you say? Will you and the guys help my new friends find what they're looking for? <sighs> I don't know, Murray. We're groupers. They're usually up for food at night on the reef, not little gut parts. Do you have any fish biscuits on you? What? Oh, yes, I do. We have food. <laughs> Spot the food, or in this case, a piece of your gut. But sometimes the thingy is inside a little crevice between the rocks. We groupers can see it, but we can't get to it. So we signal the eels like this. <laughs> and we going after it. Moray eels are experts at getting in and out of tight crevices. Imagine what is how it's done. Lovely jubbly. Fascinating. You groupers and eels cooperate when you hunt. We sure do. Sounds like we're ready for Operation Cooperation. Here, that's catchy, that is. <laughs> catchy. <laughs> Like 
you two been out on a little old adventure? <laughs> but we're back, and uh, as you can see, these gops are in perfect condition. <laughs> Aye, perfect condition. Not a scratch on them. Oh. Uh-huh. Looks like your steering wheel's a little loose there. <laughs> have told that lot they hide themselves between the rocks groupers like to swarm around instead they point the things by standing on their heads eels and groupers work together when they cooperate the hunt goes so much better go eels go groupers go eels Mm-hmm. 